It is our anniversary for half a century we've been on the air. In the early years, WTVJ was inventing television and one of the greatest pioneers joins me today and he is still an innovator in television news, NBC6 senior mm -hmm. correspondent Ike Seaman and a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, what do you remember? You came back here when, 1970? Well, I got out of the Army in late 69, two months later. I actually never worked here before, uh, uh, before uh, January 4th, 1970, when I walked in this station, no experience, no videotapes, no nothing. I just looked at Ralph Rennick, who was the news director for 36 years here, and an inventor of television here and around the country, and he hired me. And tonight we're going to do a special from 6 to 7. You saw some of uh, Bob Weaver there. Well, Bob and I got together, and we put together a story of what we call first. What did this station do first that no one had ever done? And right now I'm going to show you about that much of what you're going to see tonight. <laughs> WTVJ was one of the first news organizations into Cuba to report on the revolution and to pull Castro's beard. Are you looking forward to shaving off your beard, or do you intend to keep it? <laughs> As atrocities continued, thousands fled Cuba, including Manolo Reyes. Con su reporter Manolo Reyes. Rennick created the nation's first Spanish newscast on an English language station for him in 1960. At that time, there were 60,000 Cubans, penniless sleeping on parks and sleeping on cars. And uh, there was no mean of communication with the media. This is Larry King. Larry King got his first solid TV experience here when he was hired program. to do special reports and interviews. Did you have any idea that what you were star had started in this uh, television studio would lead to where you are today? If you want to know what Larry told me, you're going to have to watch tonight at 6 o'clock. We have a long interview with Larry and uh, Jill. A lot of surprises in the show. Anyone who cares anything about South Florida history is going to like this because it's all that old archival stuff, and uh, it's amazing. And uh, a lot of people who we still watch today in, in television on a national level and in other markets, they mm -hmm. worked here. They got their starts here. Terry Jackson for the Herald asked me about a month ago, he wrote a huge article in the Herald this morning, asked me if I could compile a list of, uh, of people who were here and went to the network or came back, like me. Mm -hmm. I was with NBC for 15 years. And I came up with a list of over 75 people. Uh, Larry King, Katie Couric, uh, Jose diaz Balart of CBS, Jackie Nespra was uh, anchor of Weekend Today, Steve Daniels is a Dateline, uh, David Bloom at the White House. Okay, you write about other people. Mm -hmm. well, what's your most memorable moment, Ike? My most memorable moment? Frankly, it was just getting started. I, uh, when I was in the Army, I used to meet these network people who were interested mm -hmm. in covering wars, and I said, what a way to make a living, but I didn't know how to get into it. Well, the most memorable moment was walking in this station and having Ralph Rennick uh, look at me, and he said, do you have any experience? Well, I know how to do this, and I can do that. Do you have any experience? Ralph, I, let me tell you something. I can do these things. Do you have any experience? I said, no, and he said, you're hired. You're hired, and you are still hired, Ike. Thank you. Can't wait to see it tonight. Thanks. Now, if you want to help us celebrate, here's what's going on today. The groundbreaking for our new complex in Miramar will be live on Today in South Florida at 11 o'clock this morning. Then from 2 to 5, you can stop by the Wolfson Media Center in downtown Miami to check out old WTVJ news footage. And tonight at 6, join Tony Segreto and Jennifer Villapi for a very special program, 50 years of WTVJ, the tradition continues.